Time for Media Watch now. And James Creedon is with us in the studio. Hi there, James. Hi, Laura. Um, we're going to start with the latest uh, person to have fallen ill with the coronavirus here in France, and that is the uh, culture minister, who says he's feeling well, but has tested positive for coronavirus. That's right. Uh, so uh, that's been getting an awful lot of reactions on mm. French social media. Frank uh, Riester, uh, the culture minister, and uh, so one of the more high-profile people in, in France to get it. He was at a Council of Ministers meeting on the 4th of March with uh, Emmanuel Macron and all of the ministers. So, of course, the concerns that it could have been spread on, he won't be at the Council of Ministers meeting uh, this Wednesday. No, no. Well, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? And you have others then saying... Uh, taking things to the nth degree, this so-called Napoleon person on social media saying the culture minister who um, participated in the in the Council of Ministers uh, meeting last week. Um, so, in fact, the entire government, including Emmanuel Macron, should be put under quarantine and uh, Gérard Larcher would take over as president uh, if there was any fatality uh, at the head of the state. Oh. All of that sounds a little bit over the top. But there you go. I suppose if you well, apply the rules strictly... Did they shake hands? Or did that's they, it. I don't know. Yeah. And again, I suppose it, it, the problem with cases like this is if you, if, if you were being informed of every individual case of seasonal flu, uh, the news bulletins would be full of it. But I suppose high-profile people who've caught uh, the coronavirus, it, it is, it's just making it into the headlines and that is... Well, I, I don't think we've had a head of state uh, diagnosed with coronavirus no. yet, have we? So there, there will be a first, I'm sure. All right, <laughs> exactly. next up, uh, more shocking news. Uh, the global stock markets... One trader called it absolute carnage. That's right. This is a cartoon by Hassan Bleibel reacting to that, a Lebanese cartoonist. And you can see planet Earth there. It's sort of, you know, <laughs> coronavirus on the one hand, tanking barrels of oil on the other. Oh. So uh, cartoonists have been responding to it. Donald Trump has been responding to it with his usual kind of a playing of everything uh, down. But in response to that tweet, where he's just like, oh, fake news about all of the market hysteria, uh, this uh, Twitter user says, hey, at least you broke the record for sharpest Dow drop ever previously held by dot, 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 you. So there's been a lot of Donald Trump bashing on social media. And it, I'm not uh, sure about that. I think the, lo the last time we saw drops this steep was in 2008. Well, people are pulling out other figures, facts and figures, yeah. but they're basically saying the Republicans don't have a good record. You'll see this one as well. The last time the market fell this much, George W. Bush was president. I'm going to say this slowly and simply stop voting <laughs> Republican. Now, obviously, you have people defending Donald Trump as well, but uh, there are those saying that the market does not like... Ins uncertainty and that there has been, well, this is a uh, uh, biased, but lying and cover-ups about the testing, uh, which has evaporated any credibility the White, White House had. That's probably to oversimplify what's going on, but some people are making that point. Meanwhile, the Chinese authorities also getting quite a degree of criticism because in the past 24 hours, the Deputy Secretary General of the State Council of the, the this is a senior CCP member, said in and before January of this year, there were more than 3,000 medical staff infected by the coronavirus. And actually, that means that the CCP's uh, communications in January was was incorrect. Oh dear. Well, yeah. The Guardian has been trying to cheer everyone up, haven't they? That's right. I won't go into all the details in this, but uh, they, they have shared an article with nine reasons why we should not we should be reassured, including we know what it is, we can test for it, we know it can be contained. Depends where you are, really. Exactly. Well, that, that is true at a considerable cost. But they go down through nine different reasons why we should be reassured. It hasn't prevented people or from still behaving in panicked manners. Oh, uh, this is on the... Boss, on the train in Sydney. On the train in Sydney. I won't show you Unless the actual extract, aggression. but it's like she coughs, he says you cover your mouth, she says I had covered my mouth, and then she coughs on him in this kind of, you know, very childish moment where he then gets very annoyed. And people are just turning into children, really. That was uh, last week uh, in a supermarket, people fighting Also over. in Australia. Yeah, there you go. What's Australia. going on in Australia? I don't know. They need to calm down. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? We have on Chinese Weibo, the hashtag that translates to what do you do when you're anxious? That has been... Uh, yeah. Uh, we had a report 200, on that anxiety. That's right, 290 million times. That's our own uh, Charles Pellegrin talking about that. This is a cartoon here in France uh, showing a penguin, because that's what they do in this particular series of cartoons, going into a <laughs> pharmacy saying, you're out of mask, uh, face masks. And the pharmacist is saying, uh, yes, but we do have uh, you know anti-anxiety pills if you want them. And <laughs> so it's... This is L'Evidence in Senegal, uh, in West Africa, where there have been some okay, recent so cases yeah. saying, is France coronizing Senegal? Oh. Play on words there. Um, yeah. Play on words, but basically, uh, to coronize is now a coronavirus is now a verb in West Africa, apparently, and, and the fear of the, uh, the fear of the infection coming in. Probably going to be word of word of twenty twenty, isn't it? It, it definitely Don't have time is. For your, okay. Your last video, I'm ashamed. All right, we'll leave it at that. All right, James, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much, <laughs> Thanks, Sarah.